Okay, so Age of Empires 4 as a an eSport, what does it need to be successful? So it, I think the most important thing to understand for an eSport is that it like the best way to look at it, in my opinion, is to look at what has been successful in the past. So if we were to look at eSports that are successful at the moment, like we would say uh, successful eSports equal, um, so we'd say League of Legends is a successful eSport. Dota 2 is definitely a successful eSport. Uh, CSGO, potentially. Um, and then maybe Valorant would be. Hey, Gus, I got something to report to you. Thank you very much. Three months of Ooh. subpar content. Joking, thanks for the great content. <laughs> Damn you, Green Mario 777. Thank you very much, my friend, for the tier one. And thank you for coming back for the third month now. I really appreciate it. Uh, and then, so the next thing I'd be thinking about would be StarCraft 2. Now, the problem with StarCraft, StarCraft 2 is it went backwards. Okay, so what do I mean went backwards? It went from like 100,000 plus viewers to now it's it's sitting like if we go check twitch right now i reckon starcraft 2 has got what ten thousand viewers five thousand concurrence let's go have a look starcraft 2 where are you five thousand two hundred viewers right now okay and for me esports isn't just like looking at big events obviously esports a huge part of it is looking at big events but a massive part of it is also how many people are watching the game because to me that says i can throw this number to my sponsors a massive part of esports is sponsorship okay so sponsors uh sponsorship so when you've got sponsorship it enables you to have prize money and not only but prize money but also funding and these two things are incredibly important because the more prize money you've got then the more attention you can attract and the more attention you can attract the more viewers you can attract and the more viewers you attract potentially the more players you attract and the more players you've got then potentially the larger prize money you've got and it works in a, in a beautiful circle like that and so as, as long as you've got a an organization like riot which did for league of legends putting money into these things attention and viewers and retaining players and adding prize money then i think that you can potentially build a really strong esport now there are a lot of ways that you can do this so one of the other ways that you could do it is if you were to look at the compendium for dota 2 now, for anyone unfamiliar with the Compendium for Dota 2, I think this is probably one of the smartest ways to actually run esports because you're actually crowdfunding your prize pool. So there's a guy who lives in the same city that I do. Uh, he is, I think he just turned 20. And he's a millionaire because he won a Dota 2 championship called the International. And the International had a prize pool of more than $20 million. And the way that they did that was very, very cool. And so what they did is they said, okay, we're going to start with like a base price of $19.99, okay? And that's going to give you in the game a whole bunch of things. Like it'll give you cosmetics. It'll give you other stuff that you can unlock. Other stuff you can unlock. Okay, but ba basically it just allows you to feel part of the action. And that's really what drives the Dota 2 uh, compendium and really what makes it so successful. In addition to that, there's a lot of ways that the Compendium can scale. You can spend thousands of dollars on Compendiums very, very easily. Uh, so you can sort of like, it's kind of like paying to win. But the thing is, when you win, you're not really getting anything in the game. Like you're getting cosmetics, you're getting unlockables and things like that. Unique things uh, that you can get. But I, I think that's more of like a, a that's a, a, it's a different conversation. I, ideally at the moment, the most important thing for for uh, Age of Empires 4 to be successful as an eSport. Hey, Gus! I got something to report to you. Thank you very much, Turvy. Coming in at the tier one. I hope you've enjoyed your stay. I hope you're enjoying the stream at the moment, mate. And uh, yeah, we're going to have plenty of good stuff like this. Keep keep them coming. Uh, so for so AoE 4 as an eSport, what does it need? So the most important thing that it needs is support from publisher this is like this is the biggest one okay it, it needs a publisher that's actually going to care about its product it can't just li leave the product and just say all right we've released the product good luck it needs to have support it needs to have marketing it needs to have funding in the form of uh, tournament prize pools at least in the beginning just to get itself off the ground that's the most important thing uh the next thing it needs is support from developer and it needs that because it needs a uh, rigorous, uh, rigorous 
um, updates. That's really, really important. People need to feel like they're playing a game that's being updated all the time. I want to see new cosmetics. I want to see new balance changes. I want to see new items added. I want to see new sieves added. I want to see everything added all the time. I want to, I want my game to be updating once every fortnight. So it's really important that, that as Kanoki is saying, incremental content, exactly. That's it. Because you can have a core game, okay? This is fine. But the problem is the core game will eventually grow stale. And people need to feel like they're playing something that is progressive because what's most important to people is progression and a sense of progression that they're getting better at the game and that the game is growing with them oh fortnite that's a, that's another great example totally uh, forgot that one so yeah really really good uh fortnite i think i've spelled that wrong i think it's is that right no fortnite it, it, oh it's like fortnite isn't it like that uh sorry i don't play fortnite uh, so yeah a bit unfamiliar so what does it need so it needs support from publisher support from developer rigorous updates another really big one in my opinion is it needs shorter game times so i i think this is probably a subjective thing but attention spans are becoming shorter and shorter and if you've got games that are lasting more than an hour it's typically going to be something that is somewhat difficult to market whereas if you've got game times that are between say 15 to 20 minutes that's a good thing now, obviously, there's, you know, a series can potentially take up to an hour, uh, but I, I think that it's important to have reasonable game times and, and have action early. So getting action out on the field early. Don't have 10 minutes of building an emotional connection with your base, okay? It, it needs to be, like, action early because if, if you're building... If you're having, like, 10 minutes of building an emotional connection with your base uh every single game then the problem is that people kind of get bored of that and then what happens is you kind of get empire wars and then empire wars develop and go oh wait a minute the first 10 minutes of every single game are the exact same thing every single time why are we doing this w what's the point like obviously it's not exactly the same you've got lots of different strategies that you can do in the early game but typically you're going to seek the same thing almost always in those early 10 minutes so why do we even do that let's cut to the action let's get straight to it and that's why empire wars was incredibly successful for the red bull uh wallalol so i think that i i think that getting out early action is really important i don't know what age of uh, empires 4 is going to be doing i don't know whether you're going to have 10 minutes of building an emotional connection with your base or whether they're just going to get straight into the action but it's my hope that like literally okay let, let's just say this is age of empires 4 spawn in uh train villager because i don't think you've got i don't think there's crates to collect i think you just like spawn in and, and you've already got resources so train villager uh build a house uh send villagers to hunt or to herd and then like i don't know uh send send villagers to wood and then like build a barracks i don't know like just so something like that like you you should there should be an option to sort of drop down an early barracks i mean you kind of got the age of empires 2 at the moment with the drush but i guess as strategies do evolve people sort of learn to deal with it um yeah i i i don't know i i it, it's it's a hard spot for me to say but i i do feel like it's important that we have action in the early game and that we encourage aggression encouraging aggression is is probably the most important thing i would say we want action we want fans to be constantly watching and be like what's going to happen next i think that's a really really important aspect of having an esport um be successful because it needs to have those uh moments where the player is looking and wondering what is going to happen Uh, I'm a picture saying we have HOTS, which was a MOBA with shorter games. And what happened is with quicker games is there's less diversity and more meta boredom. I mean, with HOTS, HOTS did a lot of things wrong. I I'll say that now. Uh, when you try and like, when you give everybody the same level and you don't give them items and you just tell them, yeah, just go run around in a circle for 30 minutes. It's it's going to die. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we could probably do an, an entire video about that. But for me, that that is what I would say Age of Empires 4 needs as an eSport it needs support from its publisher. It needs support from its developer. It needs to have an an economy or a, a focus on aggression. It needs to have an encourage like there needs to be aggression that is encouraged. Um, and 
that way you're able to I, I know this is kind of like a diss on Age of Empires 2, and I don't mean it in that way. I don't want people to think I'm dissing Age of Empires 2. It's it's just that when you've got that 10 minutes of, of building an emotional connection with your base, it is something that you can do in your own time if you want to do that, because typically audiences aren't going to have the attention span to sit there and watch you do that. Uh, but anyway, that, that that is what I would say you would need to do to... To make Age of Empires 4 successful as an esport, there's obviously a huge amount of other things that would need to go into it. But I think, as as a sort of a, a plan from the outset, that these three things are, are going to be really what is primary. Drongo dissing Age of Empires 2 YouTube video a video out tomorrow. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> 